How are you supposed to know what's really going on in the Little Nightmares games? No one says a word. You are never told the main character's names in those games. My son walks into the room like, oh cool, you found Six. And I'm all like, who the hell is Six? Welcome to completion number 113 of the Potato Backlog Project. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video for the littlest nightmare of them all, the Tater Raider. And let's talk about Little Nightmares 2. I actually played Little Nightmares and Little Nightmares 2 in succession. The first game was pretty short, so I made the review video a short. Link in the description for the video and the tiny tater raider of that game. I only bring it up for context as I will be mentioning my playthrough a little bit in this video as well. After my son told me the characters in these games have names and that there's a ton of lore, I just thought to myself, how? Where? What did I miss during my playthrough? No one in this game says anything. It's all strange mumbling and murmuring and no one is ever named specifically. You're a kind of drop into these worlds without much intro. It's mysterious, dark and spooky, and you just start exploring around. In the first game all you get is a lighter, in the second you start with even less than that. I did find out after my playthroughs that there was a comic book released at some point. I think there are also talks for a TV show, possibly some other things that I'm not aware of, and I assume that this is where the lore is expanded upon, outside of the main game experience. Which is different, but not necessarily a bad thing. I'm actually pretty happy I got to play these without any of that knowledge. I went in blind and oblivious to all of it, and I think that really added to my overall experience of both games. The game feels set up to let your imagination run wild. I would describe the gameplay as mostly stealth with some puzzle elements, and there are a lot of sequences that require very strict timing to complete, and the second game especially on the strict timing sequences. There are a lot of traps that you will die from, you'll have to navigate a few of the levels through trial and error if you go in blind, like you will die and have to start over and do it again until you figure it out and do it right. And I gotta say, I enjoyed not really knowing what was going on. I didn't even realize the second game was a prequel until the little kid you save puts on the yellow raincoat. Then you're just kind of hit with this, oh dang, that's the character from the other game. But you're also simultaneously hit with the, well, what does that mean? What's really happening here? What's going on here in these little nightmares? These little nightmares part two. I just don't know. I constantly found my mind wandering, making up scenarios that helped me make sense of the things I was seeing on the screen, and that was pretty fun. Little Nightmares 2 does have some jump scare horror type elements, the teacher lady with the neck that stretches out, the mannequins that chase you like a boo ghost in an abandoned hospital, those things were spooky. Like the teacher lady has definitely visited me in my dreams a few times since playing that game. Both Little Nightmare titles have this wonderful sense of simplicity, gameplay wise, objective wise and even character design wise character design wise Ooh. but in contrast to that the world itself seems very deep and complex a world you explore without any words or explanations but a world that has the ability to keep you interested and curious throughout i really loved the way everything was so much bigger than the characters you get to control as one of those things that feels very purposeful you are a small child the world is big and scary it makes sense on the opposite side of that the game is also jam-packed with a lot of not so obvious things i think there's a lot of hidden meaning in the imagery locations, activities, and even the other characters that show up. Not spoon feeding those things to the player is a massive positive in my eyes. Making someone have to think and feel while playing video games lends so much to the unique experiences that can be achieved through video games. And I just love stuff like that. It doesn't always have to be in your face like pew pew bang bang pew 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 pew. <laughs> The one downside I did find in Little Nightmares 2 was the polish, especially when compared to the first game. I found it to be a little bit glitchy, some sequences the collision detection was off, or would kind of wonk things out on me. Very noticeable when trying to hit enemies with the hammer. The little character who I found out later was named Mono would also stutter step and shake a bunch when getting caught on invisible things, or being slightly too close to something. These were not game breaking problems by any means, but they were noticeable especially when playing Little Nightmares 2 right after playing the first Little Nightmares. The first game is just super polished in comparison. It was interesting to find out after completion that this was supposed to be it. There wasn't gonna be a third game, but I guess money and the fans really wanted one too. So there is an entire corner of the internet that absolutely loves this world and the characters and I think that's just awesome.
four happy potato faces out of five. Little Nightmares 2 is about two times the length of the first game and builds upon just about everything the first game did right and just adds to it. So with that, the backlog project rolls on. Thank you so much for watching. Join, subscribe, hit buttons, do the thing. Be kind to yourselves and others that deserve it. We're on to the next one. The game's an allegory. It's an allegory. Here's a word that you hear all the time in normal conversation. Allegory. Look it up. I actually don't know what I'm talking about. I enjoyed not knowing what was really going on. I didn't enjoy the cadence of my voice though. Some sequences the collision detective, some sequences the collision detection seemed a little off. Some sequences the collision detection was detection. Some sequences the collision detected detection. <laughs>